Hello, Kate from What's He here. How is everyone doing today? In today's video, we're going to talk about the new Etsy Explore feature for Etsy sellers and for shoppers. And uh, what is it? And or what do I do with it? Um, now, not everyone has access to this feature, but I wanted to do a video showcasing this feature so that if you do get access to it in the near future, which I expect, you're re ready, prepared, and excited for it because I think it is something really cool. So first of all, how do you get access to this feature? Well, it's only available in the Etsy seller preview app, which I have the screen up right now. That's what we're looking at. Um, so I have a link to this page in the description below, or, um, if you have a fancy, uh, screen that you can scan the QR code, you can download it right from there. Um, and this is just basically a, uh, test version of the new Etsy seller app. So we have the sell on Etsy app. And if you use that occasionally, this isn't going to be that much of a leap from that. Um, so they're just making a new app for us sellers and they're putting it through a lot of testing before it's basically becomes the only app. Um, and I'm not going to go into a ton of details about this new preview app, but it doesn't have like every last feature, um, that you find on the sell on Etsy app, but you can manage orders. You can do a lot in there. And personally, I do prefer it at this point than the other one for various reasons. Um, but I still have both apps on my phone. So if I can't use a feature in the Etsy seller preview app, I can go to the other app if I need to. So that's about all of that. And they have a page in the help center as well that kind of goes over what I just said. And what they're really doing is if you download this and you log in with your shop, you know, they want you to take a look around and submit feedback. There's links in the app to do that. So if there's a feature missing or you find a bug, I mean, anytime I use an app, I always find a bug. I don't care if it's been around for 10 years. There's always something with me. I don't know if it's just me, maybe it's you too, but I can always find that bug. So I'm so happy that there's a place for me to submit those things when they happen. But like I said, this app's been pretty great for the stuff they have available at the moment. Now, one of the great things in the new app is this called this feature called explore. Now, if you open up the, uh, Etsy shopping app, you'll see an explore tab at the bottom. Um, might have to update it if you don't see it to the latest version and log in and, and, you know, like you're a shopper point of view, which I really recommend everyone doing. You know, I was like checking out these explore videos and I came up with some templates a couple days ago and, and was pushing them out there. And I mean, I've, I went into the app and I realized, Oh my God, I've been designing these templates all wrong and lots of other things wrong that I want to really design mobile first. And I'm going to be doing a lot more videos designing your listings and your shop really for the mobile site in mind. Myself, I'm a desktop user. I should do all my shopping on my laptop. I would never think to shop on my phone if that's just me, but I know I'm probably in the minority these days. Most people, younger people tend to shop um, off the phone. So we've got to be thinking about that. But anyway, so that's why I am really into this explore feature. It's basically, I would say it's more like a TikTok feed than anything else. Uh, maybe you can compare it to reels on, on Instagram, but you're basically taken into this place and I'm going to walk you through the user experience in a second. Um, but I have links to these help articles below in the description as well to kind of talk about what the details of the, um, explore video posts are, and they tell you a lot, but they leave a lot of details out. So that's why I wanted to create this video. So it's in the Etsy seller preview app. So once you've downloaded the app, if you go to the insights tab and scroll all the way to the bottom, 
If you have that feature available to you, it'll be at the bottom. If you don't, just wait, use the app, play around with it. And I had a notification pop up on my uh, seller dashboard when I logged in one day and it showed me that I could use this feature. So they will uh, let you know if you can. Um, you can include sound and it can be anywhere from two to three minutes long. So you can kind of figure out what's the best use of this. I've kind of been testing different videos with sound, with music, with me talking, with no sound. And, you know, I, it's a newer feature, so I'm not expecting like a ton of feedback right away and instant success with these, but I'm just trying to feel out like what's, what's people responding to, what's the algorithm picking up, what do they, what things seem to be working, what things don't. I mean, I haven't done a ton of testing and I would love to know in the comments if you've had success with it what in particular did those posts do? Was there like a trend? Did you have uh, music? Did you have your talking? Did you have no sound? Did you have lots of motion? Did you have effects? Was it just basically you working? You know, what things have you found successful? You know, post those in the comments below because it doesn't just help me. It helps everyone who sees this video and is trying out this new feature. Um, and again, they're looking for feedback on this. So they have a feedback survey on this page that you can fill out after you've used it. And they have a little video about creating posts in Explore as well. So you can check out that video. So basically the features are you upload a video, you add a caption, and you can link this video to a listing. So I've been using it to kind of just do different little videos of my listings, and then it links directly to that listing. Um, and then it says here, what if happens if my, the link to my video sells out, if the listing becomes sold out or otherwise inactive, the repost will remain active and the link listing will be replaced with a link to your home shop home instead. So that's good to know. And then they have these different categories of video types that you can create. You have to pick one when you're posting. So keeping these types in mind when you're making a video can be helpful. And I'm not really advocating making a special video just for Etsy Explorer at this point. I mean, I've been kind of recycling TikToks and Instagram reels and other things like that, or just doing really quick, basic videos. So I'm not consuming my life posting here. I mean, with all the social media out there, I'm so anti making 5,000 pieces of content every day at this point, you know, between YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest and all this stuff. Um, you know, I'm just trying to recycle what exists but they're giving you some ideas. So maybe using one of these ideas for an explore video and then taking now that video and using it on your other social media. So kind of designing with explore in mind first or taking a video with explore in mind first and then using that elsewhere. So they have, you can show item showcase, uh, creative process, like kind of a behind the scenes, look at how your items are made, an item demo. So using your um, product in action, how users can buy it, packing in order, you know, that's the opposite of the unboxing. Everyone is obsessed with unboxing videos. So now the packing video is now a big hit because it's like that opposite experience. Lifestyle scene, probably a more of just that item in the wild, you know, or, um, if you have clothing, you know, uh, a great shot of the clothing on a person and then a tutorial, um, instructions, how to use the crafts that you make, or if you have a craft kit or something like that, you know, a tutorial video with instructions for that. And, uh, so those, those are the options they give you. Okay. And you can also go in and delete a post. 
And then also there's this really neat feature to see the stats of a post performance in the sell on Etsy. I mean the um, Etsy seller preview app. So you can see how many people saw the post people favorited. Uh, if uh, any of those clicks from your post made sales and how many people visited the listing from your post and then how many visited your shop from the post. So these are all really great statistics and that can really help you determine what type of posts are actually working. You know, it, this is fantastic information. You know, that's a lot more stats than you get from places like Instagram and TikTok as far as like, will this post directly result in a sale? So um, don't underestimate those stats. And they have some tips here for how to create a post shoppers will love. And, you know, as far as Etsy goes, when they give you tips on how things should be presented, you know, that's usually a pretty good idea to kind of go with what they recommend. I mean, thinking out of the box is great, but this is what they're looking for. And what other algorithm they have going for the explore tab for shoppers to look at you know, they're probably going to be like highlighting posts that, uh, you know, use these tips and whatever they mention here. So, um, and then they also mention, you know, posts that are considered off topic may be removed. So they are going to be culling some of these posts if they don't really fit in with, um, the message of, the products that you're selling, okay, or somehow relating to your shop. Um, and they've made it very easy. I'm going to show you in a second how it all works. They've made it very easy in the post to report it, um, which probably is good. Um, it will help keep people from posting things that maybe are inappropriate. But uh, keep that in mind, you know, that the if you have a trademarked item or something like that, and it's, you do an explore, you might get reported for that. And that's not good. I mean, you don't want to get, I mean, nevertheless, getting the post taken down. Now you're on, you're flagged from on Etsy in some capacity, you know, you, nobody wants that. They also have other um, tips for creating effective videos. Probably most of these are directed towards making, um, listing videos, but the same tips can apply to using uh, for the explore videos. Okay, so let's look at the in-app experience. So we open the app and this is what we see at the bottom. Let me get my Canva uh, presentation to stop showing the stupid banner at the bottom. I don't know how to do that. Anyway, the, so just go away. Um, at the bottom, there we go. You'll see the shop and then the explore button um, is right next to shop. So they are really pushing this. And when you get in there, you see this is your home, uh, what you see. So you have to click start exploring to kind of opt in. I haven't read the terms and conditions. I'm not sure why they have to do that. But maybe it has something to do with that. They're collecting some information from you as you go through and look at these posts. Um, the This is just a screenshot, but that background is moving and it's changing all the time. So it's, it's playing different uh, explore videos until you click start exploring. And then when you click to start exploring, you're taken to a feed that's, like I said, very similar to TikTok in a way. And the feed is vertical and you can take up all that real estate. It goes all the way from the top of the screen down to the top of the tabs at the bottom. So it's quite a big amount that you get. It's not a full front of the phone, but it's, you know, I would say 90% of the, maybe higher of the phone you have for real estate. They, from here, you can click the uh, more. If the if your caption, you'll see the beginning of your caption is displayed at the bottom there with your shop name and logo. So having a, an attention getting logo will be really helpful on here. 
And when you click open that more, you'll see the caption is, is opened here. Now, I don't see a benefit personally of having a big caption. I don't know if Etsy is using those words in there to help it understand where it should fit in the algorithm of the explore tab. But all I see here is just text and it's almost like a description, like an actual description. And there's nothing, to, you can't click on anything in here. It's almost like a distraction. And that's just my impression of it at, at first. So my thoughts are when you are creating these captions to keep it brief so that everything is there in that that two lines of text that you're given. I haven't counted the characters that you can use there. It looks to me like maybe a hundred characters, something like that, and try and keep it brief. That would be my recommendation for this. That's what I'm going to try and do. If you do a longer one, I mean, I would experiment with it. I mean, like I said, this is all unknowns at this point, but I don't think there's necessarily a benefit to having a lot of text in your caption right now at this point. And then what else can you do from the, when you're looking at a post on the Explorer? Now, if we swipe up, we're gonna keep going and looking at the feed. We can swipe in either direction, looking at different posts. But when we're at a post and we like it, you can follow, they call it, but which is favorite a shop. There, these language, this language is getting kind of muddled and confused. Following and favoriting is the same thing now. Um, you can like the post. You can see there's a thumbs up button there. You can like it. The only way to like it is to actually click that thumbs up. You can report the post. Like I said, the three dots there below the thumbs up icon is how you can report the post. There's nothing else in there. So pretty easy to report a post. You can swipe right and that will take you straight to the listing page where you can see your listing photos, the price, and purchase the listing. You can, if you double tap, that will favorite the post. That's not liking it, it's favoriting. And that will, I'll show you where that ends up in a second. If you single tap, that'll open up the ability to turn the sound on or off. So I would say using sound is definitely a benefit because if someone has sound on, then you're gonna get their attention with that sound. Uh, but I wouldn't lean on it as a crutch because I think when I opened it, it defaulted with off and then people may not even know how to turn the sound on if they aren't single tapping to do that. Now, when you favorite, meaning double tap a post, this is where it goes. So I clicked on my favorites at the bottom, the favorites tab, and now there's this new, uh, section in my favorites where, you know, you have your items and favorite shops. There's also the favorite posts now. So it's another way um, shoppers can organize things that they've seen and they like. So also from here, you can click on the shop link and that will take you to the shop page. And you also see on the bottom right, there's a picture of the item itself. If you click that, that will take you to the item. So if we click on the shop name and we're taken to our shop page on the app, or if you just somehow navigated to the shop page on the app, which is really, I mean, you have to try to do it. It's not, you know, something that you just kind of stumble upon. You don't really stumble upon shops. You, you have to really either search for a shop name to get directed to one or to click on the logo, the tiny logo on a post or on a listing to kind of get there. Um, but if you do have posts uh, in the Explore, this is where it will show up here on your uh, shop page and you'll see it's right at the top. So you have your banner, logo, shop name, location, number of sales, reviews, and then your Explore post right at the top. And I believe this will be your most recent one. And you will see it's a different crop. And I don't have the um, motion on as this is just a screenshot, but this will repeat five seconds in a loop. Kind of like if you are in your TikTok profile page, you'll see the um, 
the videos kind of loop just a little clip. So it's about five seconds loop that it does on your shop homepage. And then when you click on it from there where it said view more posts or you click on the uh, the explore on your shop page, you're taken to the actual post page. So you have this post page, which they don't have across the top here above your banner, which I think is kind of strange. They may add that later, but this is your post page. And you can, if you have several posts, you can scroll through here, but you'll see this again, this is a different crop. So we have a lot of different crops that these explore posts are appearing. Mainly it's on that explore page where most people will see it, but on your shop page, I mean, that is a totally different crop of the same video. So we have to think about that when we are, you know, creating these posts. That's why I was suggesting earlier in the video, maybe designing or creating videos for explore first and then recycling them to other social media platforms might be a better use of this feature right now. Um, so here on the post page for our shop, we have the, um, the explore post. There's also the opportunity to thumbs up and like the post. You can click and buy the, um, or tap and buy the listing. It's right below and it shows the listing photo and just the item title, uh, listing title is displayed below there. So this is another kind of incentive to have those really brief um, listing titles because here the listing title goes on with some keywords and it's kind of just like, it doesn't, it looks kind of weird on the app. Um, nothing wrong with that, but I'm just, you know, saying that's as mobile becomes more and more where people shop, you know, we, we need to start designing our shops with mobile in mind. And I'm that's what I'm going to really focus on with more of my videos coming up. So be sure to subscribe to the channel um, so you can get those tips for how to really set up your shop for success on the mobile app. Okay. So lastly, I wanted to talk about my template because I made a template that will make it easier for us to design these Etsy Explore videos. And I made it in Canva. It just seems to be the easiest way to share a template with you guys and also design a template that can you can reuse and reuse and reuse on any device because the Canva app is on your phone, it's on your iPad or tablet, it's on your computer. So anyway, to get to the um, template, you can find it on my blog. So you can go to whatsy.com, you go to blog, seller resources, and you'll see the post. I also have a link directly to this post below, and then also a link directly to the template below in the description. So you can find everything you need. But this post has all the templates here in Canva. So everything you need for your Etsy shop, and you'll see all the banners, listing photo sizes. And I'll just make a little note about the listing photo sizes, the listing photos and videos, there's two different sizes, the, the photos and videos versus the website site, Etsy site, or the mobile app. So you, you, you can't, the photo won't appear perfect on both. You have to kind of pick one and go with it or do mix, you know, so that's up to you, but I just want to mention that I made those um, available. And you scroll down to shop videos and we have the explore video template, open that up and you'll see, you can just click use this template and makes a copy of the template I made. And now it's available for you. So here there's a lot on this template that I added, um, whoops, information for you to, um, look over when you're editing the template. Now, first is this red lines. So I wrote on the shop page, the video is cropped between these lines and also the first five seconds of the video loops. So that is back. That crop is when we are on our shop page, this crop here. Okay. So that's that line there. Now, why do you need to know that? Well, if you have some text or important information um, or something about the post, you want to have it probably in within these red lines 
and within the first five seconds of the video. Okay. Cause that's, what's going to be looping on your shop page. So if you're talking about a sale or you're trying to showcase a new item or something, you want to have that text and that image of it within the fi first five seconds and within these lines. Okay. I'm not saying you have to design your video exclusively within this lines. It's just making sure that information is there. So when it is on your shop page and someone stumbles upon it, it just, it does make sense in some way. Now the next set of lines is these blue lines, and this is your post page where the crop, the video is cropped on the post page. So that is here. Not a lot. I don't think a lot of people are going to be navigating to this page, to be honest. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily design with the intent of that, but you can see it is a, quite a bit smaller than the dimensions for the, the amount of room you have on the explore page. So keeping the information that you have, the important information for your video, if there's any additional text beyond that five second loop of your video, that would be for your shop page. Make sure it's included in this blue space. Um, just so that if someone does end up on your shop page, there isn't text cut out if you add text to the video or anything else important um, in the video. So the rest of the space is what you see on the explore page. Now the this is a little bit different dimensions when then if you're just making a video for TikTok or something because there is that little piece at the bottom that is cropped off. So you can see on all of these the ta the uh, the very bottom you have your shop explore favorites updates shopping cart that cuts a piece of your video. So I've made the dimensions of this template so it fits within that window. Different devices, it may be different. Now this is just on my 100,000 year old iPhone, the dimensions. It should work on most devices. I would love to know how it looks on yours. It may look different. We may need to adjust the template for different devices. I don't know, but really you can't overthink that too much because there's always going to be someone who's on a different device and it's always never going to look perfect. So you can use the full screen, um, idea videos if you want to for this and just understand that there will be a portion at the bottom that will be cropped off. Okay. When you're designing. So I'm not going to go through the video in this video, how to do a video on um, Canva. I'm sure there's thousands of videos, how to do that. I mean, really all you have to do is upload your video and drag and drop it in here. We can even just go to, uh, uh, feel video, you know, videos and see the, take a vertical video like this drag it in here. And now we have, we can design everything here. Now, all this stuff, you can just delete it lines, the text that I put in there, and you can leave these lines, design your video. And then when you're ready to download, you just click on these and unlock them to delete, click unlock, delete. And you want to make sure you leave those lines on until you're done designing, just so that you know where those crop lines are because if you get rid of them early on and you design your video and then you realize, oh, it's going to be cropped. I'm not going to like how this looks. And again, don't overthink it. I wouldn't, you know, go too much out of my way to make sure it fits within these crop lines, but it's just something to keep in your, the back of your mind and think about that, that first five seconds of your video for your shop page, you know, it'd be helpful to make it look nice, you know? nothing's, it's not going to hurt. Right. Okay. So I hope this help video was helpful working out how to do explore videos on the new Etsy seller preview app. I think this is going to be a great feature. I love that Etsy is kind of going more towards that social version of Etsy because I really feel like it's a great social media platform you know, and it can, and with some improvements, it can be even better. I would love it if they let uh, customers post videos of their products. I think that would be amazing. Um, lots of other things that I would make it really 
cool and interactive website for, for both sellers and shoppers. So I love the direction that it's going. Tell me what you think about the Explore feature. Do you have access to it? Have you posted some? Have you had success? Have you not seen much action? I haven't, to be honest. <laughs> um, and I think that there's some features that they're just testing to see if they work. Um, I think liking posts is kind of silly. I don't really get it. Favoriting, I like that idea. Uh, and all the other features with it seem to be working out pretty well. It would be awesome to put links in that, that caption, even though the <clears throat> explore post, you can just swipe right and take you to the product or you can click on the picture of the product and it'll take you right there. You know, some people open that more and if there was a link there, they would go to it, you know? So I think having a link to the, um, listing in the caption would be really helpful. And then I'd be like, yes, I'm all about captions, make them as awesome as you can. But right now I think, don't worry about the caption, just put in something basic that it describes your item or what you're doing and move on, you know, don't get too bogged down by those. Okay. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day.